back to the Drift Games YouTube channel. We're back here at Drift Games HQ getting the RX-7 finished. The boys have put in awesome work. The car is all stripped down, but today is the big day. We get to put the white arch kit on, we get to put the wheels on, we get to see what the whole thing looks like, and we're obviously going to be decking it to the floor. So we're going to get on with fitting back on all the panels that Mike has just painted and see how this thing comes together. Let's do it. I think that refers to that we're going to be open back open for Christmas. This is the t-shirt. And then here's, here's lad slugging pints. As Can't me, do that anymore. As me an update on the car. Oh, alright. <laughs> well, don't read the star <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You've gone old school today. I went old school. I got a newspaper. I was thinking, maybe it's better than Facebook. Nope, still full of bullshit. Right, car is... Got the rear quarters on, which look really, really nice. I actually really like the... Uh, Bolts that Mike has gone with here, or I wouldn't say bolts, they're kind of like rib nuts, are they? Well, they're, they're, they're both in it. They're rib nuts. Depending on what you try into it, so they're essentially you're right there. Skirts are fitting nicely. Then we're going to do the other side, wing and skirts. I can believe one this side and one not this side. No. <laughs> and then, then I was both back down the roof again. And then when we've got the kit back on, we'll put the wheels on, which is the most exciting transformation because. All you wanted to see is it lowered. All I want is low on wheels, low on wheels, low on wheels. So if Mike and you can get this kit on as fast as possible, we'll get to the low on wheels. You can give a hand if you want, Dave. No, I, my, I have to read the newspaper. <laughs> Dave, what's going on? Is that my lunch? Give it up there. I can't go near the car. What are you doing, Michael? I'm putting some double sided tape in, Joshua, to stick that in there. Oh, will that reach? It should, because it's going to be double padded, and if not, then uh, I will get a lot of sealer and fill it up, and you'll turn the camera off for a few minutes. I'm trying to think you sound English. I mean, I sound English. Did you really just <laughs> punch yourself? <laughs> no, this will be a claim now. This will be a claim. Oh, yeah, I'm Bull not. Bullied in the workplace. Yeah, Josh called me English. <laughs> By himself. Josh called me English. That's the ultimate bullying. Anyone else running out of boxers and socks, like, in yeah. general, in life? Socks, they're just... I think no, it's easier no. to get an RX-7 body kit and it is, and like SSR wheels it is to get boxers and socks right now. Hey, you said the right name of the wheel. <laughs> I watched back my own episode yeah, and I was like, what am I on about? So now I know. So, yeah, so if, if you have uh, boxers and socks to spare, we will swap Drift Games merchandise for them because... Uh, you can hear people's rotten old boxes. No, no clean, like new ones, obviously. <laughs> and if you're unsure of whether your boxers and socks are good enough, Send them to Adam at driftergames.life. <laughs> <laughs> Let him uh, sort through them to see if they're worthy of sending to I us. I so hope he gets loads of pictures now. He has no idea. If, if, these, if someone send boxers and socks to Adam, email, email. email Adam at driftgames.life. Don't Facebook message, email. It's more formal. Like a pair of boxers. Let's get back to the RX7. Uh, we're in lockdown now, so we, we can't leave here for another six weeks. So. Uh, we're going to take so the body It's not a bad place to be locked down. No, it's fine. And we're going to take the body kit off at the end of this and just start the project all over again uh, from the start and pretend we might do it backwards or something. It might paint it blue. I don't know. All right, let's get back to the RX-7 and get this kit off. So very quickly we realised that plan wasn't going to work, so we are... Just bolting it. Bolting it. Just bolting it. Why not? It's quicker and easier really, isn't it? Better than doing 17 layers of tape. Definitely. We didn't have enough tape. We would have got like this section on, not the back or the other side, so... Yeah, that was going to work. But, uh, yeah, bolting it. Moving on to the next stage. We want to take a minute just to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, M Tech Brakes. They're one of the UK's leading supplier of performance brake pads, discs, and hoses. We have run them on all of our cars. They're an amazing product and at an amazing price. So make sure you check out their full range at mtechbrakes.com.
finally got to the fun bit. This, I've been waiting for this all day, so now we get to put the wheels on. Hopefully, you guys have done the maths right on the spacers and the offsets, and we, the lowering we don't know. Me and him got maths wrong. We have them. <laughs> two, two dyslexics. Two dyslexics, they can't count three. That's what I'm worried and we got 40, so. That's what I'm worried about. So, yeah, we're going to drop it now. We've lowered it about 40 mil on the back, and we're putting on 40 mil of spacers, and then we've got 11s on the back with the arches. Who knows? So, what we'll try and do first is. We'll drop everything, see how it sits. It's unlikely it'll be perfect the first time, but we'll give it a good idea. And then we'll try and get all four corners, put the front bumper back on, and we should know what it looks like. Four, like, here's the moment of truth at 40 mil spaces. No, I'm, getting worried. Worried. <laughs> I'm getting worried. I'm ah, there with the perfect. Go. See, we're gonna do this next. Wasn't even worried. I'm not a centi cap for that. Uh, is there centi cap there? No. How much are the wheels? 2,200 euros. And they didn't give you a centi cap? No, they were they not. They give you like a Harry Potter or anything, <laughs> <laughs> Two twirls and a twix. We totally guessed how low the car needs to go. We've gone wound it way down, and also it needs camber, which we hope will naturally happen. Yeah. Are we? Are the quarters just gonna pop? Oh, we're all right. All right. Yeah, I can more. Ah! Go up! Up! Go up! Oh! Cut your finger in that. He's cut his fingers stuck. You're an idiot. It didn't get caught that badly. That looked horrendous. Excuse me, wait, a car just went on my hand. Are you going to tell it's me that? Oh, right. I say the fitment is serious. Is it going to work though? Is it going to move? Show car. The fitment is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to give it the classic the jiggle. Good job, buddy. I think we um. We guesstimated 40 for the back and it looks good, and 20 for the front. Not so. too sure. Nah, that's classic. I think that, as you say, it could be perfect. Wait, wait, when you drive it, the little bit here will maybe rub away. away. I know cool kids, but cool kids are happy with that. That is serious. That is, the, but that's what you wanted. You said you wanted gangster stance. I want gangster stance, and that is gangster stance. That is gangster stance. Wings are eager, he's already started on the front. By the time we uh, put it back down, everything should be done. What's happening right now? Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. I'm going to drop it off oh, with yours though. Okay, so, back wheels. Yeah, sort of on. Now the front, and we've got to see if it's camber bit because it's going to be very tight. And this is a moment of truth. Michael, wait. Well, you, you went on time there. Oh. I think that's. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I think the space might have to pop that. Wait. Straight up into the arch. I think you can go lower and the spacer off. Yeah, I would agree. We're almost there. The dyslexia kicked in a little bit, Mike. Well, we said I get 20 and we have a five if we need it. We don't need it. We said have a five, though. Boom, 350. Take two. Let's see if we got it right this time. Ooh. It's definitely in the arches now. Yeah, that's, that is perfect. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Can't help but think the back is lower than the front. I don't think it is. I think that's just the illusion that the bumper being off is giving. Because if you look at the side skirt, it's actually very flat. I think raise it a little bit at the back. Front is fine. Like you're going to blow the quarters off it when you get a bump back. Maybe. So I think on the back, raise it a tiny bit, and the front is perfect. You, do you think that's right, Wayne? I'd, I'd be agreeing with that. I think the back is too low.
All right, so it's pretty late, and we've got the car now sitting on the ground, but it's hard to tell in here exactly how it looks. It looks great, I'm really happy with it, but I really want to see it out in the daylight tomorrow. So we're gonna to head home tomorrow, we'll roll it out, give it a bit of a wash, get rid of uh, all the dust off it, and see how it looks in the daytime. So uh, let's go to tomorrow. That was a boring one. Me and Mike have been doing much better ones than Josh, that. Turn it around, turn it around. Whatever. See you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's the next day and we've got the RX-7 out in the sunshine and it looks unbelievable. I'm so pleased with it. Obviously, like every single build we've ever done, there's going to be a list of stuff we need to do. So we need to get like reflectors and a few other bits and pieces, but we're not going to be able to do that now. Not in a time when it's easy to get parts for this kind of thing. So obviously, as you can see out here, we have the Corolla, the Caprice and the RX-7. All three cars that we've been working on for now. Randomly white as well. I didn't really think about that at the time, but they all turned out to be white. So they look really, really cool. We've got the three of them out here because they are moving. We're moving them all out of the garage. Uh, why we're moving them all out of the garage, we can't say at the moment, but you'll find out on November 15th, as we keep saying. Uh, but all the cars are coming out of the garage. We're putting them into storage elsewhere. Um, the Corolla is going to Mondello, and the other two are going to undisclosed locations. So we're not going to say where they are, but we're going to clear them all out. It's the last time you're going to see these cars for probably a couple of months. And hopefully next year, when the show season comes back around after the end of the world stuff that's going on, and we get back out having fun in cars, we can go rip in all of these and have a lot of fun. So they're all running, they all work, they all need lots of little bits and pieces, but we'll do that next year. So for now, it's kind of signing off on the Corolla, the Caprice, and the RX-7, which you've been watching for the last couple of episodes. It turned out amazing. We've got some photos of it now to keep me over the winter months still enthusiastic about finishing it next year. And a thank you to Mike and you and everyone else for, for helping out to get it done. It's amazing. JDM Distro for the wheels. I mean, awesome. The car turned out amazing. I love it. I know it needs a little bit, a few more bits and pieces, but it's amazing. So let's get these cars out of here and uh, yeah, let's just enjoy the photos and videos. And next year, hopefully, we get to finish them, make them even more awesome, and go take the first spin on the road. <laughs>